All right, guys, let's watch this and talk about it after. I'm actually feeling that I'm not giving Hector the peace he deserves. Peace? Yes. Peace indeed. That man does not deserve peace now. What kind of peace? Tell eh? me, but Hector is a good man. Oh, a good man indeed. No, tell me. What good man wouldn't give his wife what she wants? Hmm? Tell me. He shouldn't have peace until he does your bidens, I'm telling you. Don't allow him. Just take a look at you. Hmm? Smile. Smile. Because of you, I lost a client! Well, that won't be the first time. What I mean is, you losing a client won't be the first time, not the because of you part. Jesus Christ! Who does that? You're not even sorry! No, does this look like a joke to you? What's not a joke is me saying you're in the bathroom jerking off. No, so is that enough excuse for you to lock me up in the bathroom? That is enough excuse, and my mom thinks so too. <sighs> Your mom? Yes. Your mom thinks every man is a scum. Well, she's not far from the truth. One is actually standing right in front of me. Are you serious now? Mm -hmm. Diana, are you serious now? Mm -hmm. You're taking advice from a woman who's twice divorced because of her stinking, stinking smelling character? I, 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 there's something wrong with you. That's my mom you're talking about, and when you speak about her, you speak about her with some respect. What's wrong with you? You don't want to talk about anything, so you're actually implying that I'm bantering. Is that it? Yes, you are bantering right now. You are. Hector, you cheated on me. You cheated on me, for God's sake. And so what, Diane? And so what? Huh? Tell me. Yes, I did, and I'll do it over and over again and over again and over again. Diane, since I got married to you, it's been from one level of pain to another, one level of frustration to another. I'm so depressed. Huh? I got married to you because I thought, oh yes, this was going to be another branch of my comfort zone. But unfortunately, it's a branch of hell. Just leave me the hell alone, Diane. Leave me the hell alone! Alright guys, so let's talk about this was scripted marriage. You know, the link to the movie is in the description. If you've not watched it, please do. Now, this is one of those topics that practically inevitable that if you're a lady, you probably come across it. Now, you know, many guys, before they get married, during their ajuju stage, ajuju stage is really just when their, you know, families are probably making inquiry about the girl. Uh, in most cases, they inquire about the mother. And the reason why people want to know about the mother's character is because everybody believes that the mother is the one that kind of like, you know, tutors the child, her daughter into adulthood. So if she's a person with bad character, it, she's somehow going to transmit it over to her daughter. You know, if she's wayward, somehow the daughter would pick up on those traits. And that's just general belief. It doesn't always happen. However, uh, people tend to believe that if the mother is bad, high percentage of the chance that the daughter would also pick up on those traits. Now, that being said, uh, this movie, as you guys can see, her marriage got ruined because she was taking advice from the mother. But the question really is, would it just be the mother that we have to blame? Because she's also an adult now, you know. And as much as you love your mother and you feel like, um, you know, she at some point in your life was your God or your Mary Mandalene or you know, whatever you believe in. The truth is that you are grown and you now have a mind of your own. So you should be able to go to a meeting, call yourself into a meeting and reason when they give you certain advice. If this your same mother asks you to go and jump off the bridge, you are not going to jump off the bridge. You are going to sit back and be like, hmm, jump off the bridge. Doesn't that mean that I will die? No, I'm not jumping off. Oh. You may have just told her, okay, oh, but then when you go back, you're going to sit and think about it like a human being that you are with your own brain. So the same thing applies here, you know. It's not every advice that you are giving that you have to take. Some of them you just hear it out, some you tell her mom, really, why would you think of this? And some you just, you know, outright tell her that you are not going to do it. But either way, 
if it's something bad is on you to you know you know think about it know that it's bad and refrain from doing it now if you decide to go ahead with it it's not your mother that's gonna suffer the consequences it's you it's you as we can see in that movie you know uh, things just kept going from bad to worse from worse to worse and sooner or later you know everything went down the drain because the guy didn't even care anymore now that's what happens when you keep pushing and pushing your partner in the wrong direction you know so always the lesson here is you know yes you have a mother yes you have a father these people are gonna advise you but you also have a brain you know and that brain is meant to guide you is meant to protect you from doing silly things you know from you know taking wrong advice and acting it out that's why you have your own senses so no matter what advice you get no matter what people say outside because you know there's this whole notion of if it was a friend you could you know doubt their motives but because it's your mother you are not doubting it you don't know what your mother went through in her youthful age she might actually be acting out based on something that hurt her during her own young age you know uh, but as much as she loves you it doesn't change the fact that she might still be carrying out something that was hurtful that happened to her so you it's on you to learn it's on you to get sense and understand that it's not everything that you advise to go and do that you should do put yourself in your partner's shoes and ask yourself the question if you are the person that this thing is now being meted out on would you be happy if you wouldn't be happy then maybe you shouldn't um you know uh, put it on somebody else's son or somebody else's daughter that's just the lesson we have to learn on this one you know treat others the way you want to be treated don't offend your partner unnecessarily just because you picked it up as an advice from your parents you know we we'll know when to draw the line in these things and remain respectful remain loved remain in happy terms with your home and that's it for this one guys if you love this kind of content please like share subscribe follow this is cj from magnetic studios and i'm here to deliver sense